morning everybody happy monday i hope you're all doing really really well Ooh, noisy noisy i'm just in insomnia at the moment or after leaving insomnia uh, with an iced macchiato i am why do i say it like that iced macchiato <laughs> I'm uh, just heading home now. Oh god, it's like dribbling or melting. I don't think I put the lid on properly. Today I am going to be doing work, obviously. Uh, it's a nice work day today because I have my boss is off so we don't have any zoom calls. I made out a list on Friday of all the things that I need to do this week so I'm excited to kind of get stuck into that. I was with Ollie all day yesterday. Uh, in hers in her apartment and we had McDonald's breakfast yesterday morning it was lovely and then Patty and I went to the Hellfire Hellfire Club I've never done that before and it was really 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 nice it was just like a nice walk through the mountains and you could just see the whole of Dublin it was just lovely I didn't bring my camera with me yesterday because I wasn't really vlogging so there wasn't a whole lot to see and I mean you could kind of like google the Hellfire Club if you want to see what it looks like and this weekend was kind of chilled because the weather wasn't great and it was just not really there just wasn't a whole lot to do because the weather was so crap and normally when the weather is really nice there's like a lot of like outdoor activities you can do we were supposed to go ziplining this weekend with a big like there was a group of us i think eight of us going i think i mentioned that before but that was obviously cancelled because of the weather which sucks so hopefully we can go maybe not next weekend the weekend after oh my god that guy has it looks like a tape measure fell out of the back of his car and dangling along it's making a real loud, loud noise go zip lining this weekend I don't know it's bank holiday weekend so I'm not really sure what my plans are I don't have anything major nothing really to catch us up on they're talking this morning about uh, on the radio about the vaccine and stuff for COVID and asking people if they would get it or not and I kind of hadn't really even thought about it I was like yeah like if a vaccine comes out like would I even get it straight off the bat like would I need more convincing if that makes any sense like i didn't really even think about it i don't know um but they're just kind of having like a debate and like there was good points made on either side i just found it like very enlightening there was a lot of things there was a specialist talking about the vaccine and stuff and it just kind of like i don't know opened my eyes a little bit i'm gonna put on a podcast i think while i'm driving crime junkie brought out a new one this morning they bring out a new one every monday morning but this is i think it's a missing person one as you guys know i love a good murder mystery case or true crime cases. Patty and I are watching cold cases, cold cases or cold case file I think it's called, something like that on Netflix at the moment and there's a mysteries, murder mysteries one on it as well that I haven't gotten around to watching but I do like the cold cases ones especially when they solve them. I do like something with a conclusion I must say. However I'm fascinated with like some missing persons cases especially like the Maura Murray ones and stuff. Those type of cases you're like what happened? Where did the person go? I'm always really interested in the theories and stuff of what actually happened to people and what people think might have happened to someone and it's just so mind-boggling to me how someone can literally disappear into thin air it's just crazy because like this world is such a small world like how often have you ever gone somewhere like on holidays or on a trip or traveling or something and you bump into somebody that knows somebody or somebody who's from your area or something like that or somebody who knows somebody who's from your area it's such a small world so I just find it baffling that somebody can disappear into thin air anyway I'm gonna listen to that podcast this morning and I know you guys had wanted to hear feedback on a couple of podcasts that I like at the moment so I will go through them because there is a couple of new ones that I'm listening to women in crime is the newest one that I am listening to and I'm binging at what I'm listening to at the last six weeks whereas crime junkie I've been listening to for maybe close to a year now so I will give you a list of podcasts I'm definitely more of a podcast listener than a YouTube listener under other than Kendall Ray and Eleanor Neal. I'm trying to think if there's many other ones on YouTube. I kind of, not that I got bored of them, but I felt like they were all covering kind of the same cases. Whereas I find on a podcast you get like a really good random case. Like so. Anyway, I'll talk to you about them later on. I'm going to put on my Crime Junkie one right now and listen to that. Hey guys, I'm down in my storage unit, I don't know if you remember, two years ago, maybe three years ago at this stage, I put a lot of my stuff into storage to like sort through at a later date, especially like when I'm 
gonna be like moving into my forever home. It's gonna be happening at some stage and I want to kind of clear out this room first. I have like plastic bags in the window because you can kind of see in and there's like stuff here that's kind of like expensive but I have a lot of stuff in here. So today I'm gonna like tackle it, go through a couple of things and try and like clean up as much as I can and decide like what needs to be donated, what needs to be put into, like kept here in the storage for moving eventually and then what I can bring with me right now or put into the attic right now, like stuff that I really need. Like I obviously would come in here like a couple of times in the year like just to make sure everything's okay and like to check everything out but um, it's just gotten kind of a bit out of hand the last while so um, I just need to kind of tackle it go through it, get rid of stuff. And yeah, it's gonna be fun. Anyway, let's get doing that today. I've just found this whole container full, and I mean full of boxes of hair dye. Whatever, I was dyeing my hair. And W7 makeup, do you guys remember this, W7? I obviously, oh I found a wig. Oh no, that's not a wig, they're hair extensions. And uh, what else is in there? Clay mask. These are definitely in here at least two years. There's a L'Oreal palette in there. W7 Holland Honolulu mascara. Oh, Sun Club bronzer. Absolutely loved this. All of these things, unfortunately, are going in the bin because they are so beyond expired. I would even hate to think how long they've been in there. But I must do another W7 makeup video soon. I'll go and buy like nice new W7 things. But uh, a lot of the stuff, oh my god, look at that. Like it's separated. That's from Catrice. Oh my god, like a whole thing of just expired makeup. Ugh. I don't even want to know how long some of these things have been in here. I found nail polishes from China Glaze. Does anyone remember them back in the day? They were the shiznit. Anyway, they've gone into the bin. Everything in this is going into the bin. There's like nothing to salvage out of this. It's just so weird. Why would I keep this stuff? In fairness, I haven't actually been through any of this stuff in possibly two years. And when I put, maybe, no, because of three years nearly. When I put this stuff in here initially, I was not in a good place. But I'm just excited to get rid of everything out of here. What on earth? Like the nail polishes are so gone off. I hate to think what the makeup was like. Ugh, gone, expired makeup in the bin. So I'm going through all the stuff that's in here. You can see the storage unit is a bit of a mess. So I'm gonna try and reduce it in all the boxes. That's what I'm doing right now. The floor is a mess here as well. That box up there I know has like like paintings and stuff like for your house and stuff um i'm not gonna ever 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 use them so i'm gonna donate them to a charity maybe i think there's like a charity for the blind here my nanny is blind so i might donate them to the blind and i think there is an oxfam as well down the road so i'm gonna do that as well just donate them to like a couple of different charities they can sell them like there's a couple of different things around there if an old paul's boutique bag over there there's like shoes there's like a load of household stuff in here as well that are going to be donated and just give them somewhere else and then this unit i painted a few years ago which i feel like i'm just gonna sell it I hunted so hard to try and find a little dresser like this and I did it up myself and everything. I love it. I don't think I'm going to have much use to it. Um, it's quite, you know, it's old memories and stuff so I think it's just best to sell it, donate it, whatever. It's going to go somewhere else. I have two bags full and I just made this like little seating area here <laughs> out of a box that I found like a throw in and pillows belong to me because I feel like I'm going to be here for a while so I might just run down and get something to eat and I'm just going to sit here and have it. I'm not leaving here. So yeah I made this little seating area for myself. Actually exhausted. I've been in here for two and a half hours and look at the head me. <laughs> and I feel like I've done so much like I've literally gone through three big massive boxes. I found all my eyeshadow palettes and I'm gonna do a declutter of them because hello all of them have to go in the bin but I thought you guys might want to see like what I'm actually throwing out because I found like naked palettes and loads of Morphe palettes what else did I find BH Cosmetics palettes Urban Decay ones so I'm gonna do a declutter and I'll show you guys what I'm throwing out I thought that might be fun so I'm gonna keep all those palettes for a later date 
because I have been throwing, like literally everything I get my hands on is bin. The only thing I did find that I want is my hiking boots. So they're gonna come in really handy. The last time I wore them was when I went, went up Crow Patrick. So I'm gonna be keeping them because me and Paddy definitely do an awful lot. Like we hike at least twice at the weekend. Now not big massive hikes, but we might do like 10K hikes. And it's just nice to have like hiking boots. Just if the terrain is a bit rough. I'm listening to Taylor Swift's new album here when I'm cleaning up. I've just listened to the whole thing through twice. And I really, really, really like the album. It's really good. Anyway, I better get back to doing what I'm doing. I'm gonna do another half an hour and then I'm gonna stop and get something to eat because I'm getting a bit hungry. Okay guys, I'm pretty much finished for the day. I am beat and I have done so much work in here so I'm delighted with myself. My mum came down the last like hour just to help me do the last few bits and I have filled six bin bags, three for donations, one keep box and then a whole box full of cardboard boxes. So I'm really, really happy with that. So I just have my makeup drawers to go through, which is probably all gonna be binned, to be fair, because I would say a lot of it has expired. Look what I did find when I was going through, friend. Obviously my YouTube, my 100K subscribers, which I got a few years ago. And I also found this. I'm gonna put that over there. Ooh. Um, all my Christmas decorations are there, I'm keeping them. But I also found this from Too Faced. Does anyone remember these big roller blades? I was obsessed with these roller blades. I never actually went out with them, on them I mean. But aren't they just the coolest thing ever? They're all glitter and pink. They were a little bit too big for me. They think they were a size 6 and a 4. But if I wore big, big socks with them they would have been... I would have been fine with them. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I might end up donating them, I don't know, but I just thought that they were so cool. And uh, yeah, so like everything's been kind of cleared down, whittled down to just these few things, and then this storage unit. These are all gonna be donated, everything here. Um, I'm gonna sell this desk, sell this, and then the rest of it is probably gonna be binned. There's like very little really, to be fair, that I need in my life left, like the, everything's kind of for the bin most so. But you can kind of see all the rubbish bags. This is the boxes, that old sink there, that needs to go as well. Um, my mum left her apple. <laughs> There's these pillows and stuff, like I'm gonna probably like clean them. Then this is my keep box. So I found all my nutrition books that I used all the time in the clinic and stuff. So I'm gonna obviously keep all them. This book was brilliant, the Food Bible. I loved that book. And uh, yeah, this is all donations. So these three are donations. Pretty happy with all of the work that I did today. Right, I am done. I'm gonna lock up here, go home, get something to eat. So happy, I feel like a weight's been lifted off me, like finally doing all of this. It's taken so long and I'm such a procrastinator, but I just wasn't like ready to like face it. And like definitely over the summer I've like, cleared out so much out of my life and this was like the last few bits to go it's like a cull <laughs> anyway guys i'll talk to you later i think i might go to little and pick up something to eat i think i just want like a nice real hearty soup and they always have their homemade soups in little and i really like them so i might get a mushroom soup um, it's my favorite soup. I know I'm really random. Not a lot, a lot of people like mushroom soup. Is that weird? Is it a weird soup to like? Because anytime I say I like it, everyone's like, ooh. Especially Patty and my sister. They think that I'm a loop de loop for liking mushroom soup. But I think it's delicious. So I think, oh God, sorry. I'm just really tight trying to get out there. So I think it's delicious and I can't wait to get some. Very excited. I think that's what I'm gonna have for dinner. Well, I'm gonna make like a big, salad sandwich and have some soup. I'm not like starving starving but I just need something like to fill me up and I might make a smoothie as well. Sure why not. Oh I'm just saying little and this is bloody tractor in my ears. Oh got caught in my earring. <laughs> I can't find my reusable mask. I have to jump that one. Um I don't know what I did in my reusable mask. I know I have one in the wash, but I should have another one in my glove compartment. It's not there, so I always have those disposable ones on hand. That was just annoying because I, I hate them ones because it just ugh, they just get really moist and ugh. anyway, what did I get? I picked up I didn't actually get to see could I find like the best olives because 
there was like a woman with her trolley just blocking everything which is really annoying I hate when people do that like they block everything and go off and like look at other things like uh, I don't know it just annoys me but anyway I got the olives the garlic olives I love these but like I said I just didn't get to have a look to make sure that they were all okay but they look fine and then I picked up peanut butter protein balls. I like these sometimes, just as like a little snack. They're like supposed to, you're supposed to eat all of them as a snack. I usually just have like one or two max. And then I picked up some of the wild mushroom soup, my favorite soup ever. And the last thing I got was, oh, oh God, I'm like dropping it now, was the pit of bread. I love pit of bread, pit of pockets. I usually stuff these full of like, lettuce and tomato and oh just make a lovely snack out of it so that's what I'm gonna have for my dinner and then I'm gonna make like a smoothie I know it's not really a whole lot for dinner I'm not like starving starving I just had a hankering for that soup anyway I'm gonna go home and eat the soup and uh, have that for dinner I'll talk to you guys later were you out for a walk did you have a great walk where are you going was it amazing was it Best boy in the whole world. Aren't you, Chewy? <laughs> you are the best boy in the whole entire world. Yeah. It's caramel popcorn, guys. I know it looks burnt, but it's not, I promise. Hi, guys. I'm just hopping into bed. I'm about to take my ponytail out of my hair, and then there's like a massive kink in it. Anyway, I'm just hopping into bed right now. I hope you had a great day. I had a lovely day and I'm so glad I got everything like sorted down in that unit so far. I still have a little ways to go but you will get there in the end. Have a fantastic day, night, wherever you are in the world and I'll talk to you then. Bye guys.